yourself. You gotta sell. You know what I'm saying? You gotta do that, or you gotta play basketball, or you be some type of entertainer. Mm, it's like, yeah, that guy. I mean, it's kind of really just a societal thing, as far as like why people think the way they think. Exactly. Because if you start to get around different people. And it's and, and you gotta think about this too. If you get around different people, then you will think different ways. But if you always in a box and you stay in that box, that's why I, I liked when I went to go drive. Cause mm-hmm. when I was driving trucks, it like even though I went around people, it's like I got away from that environment. Mm-hmm. And then I started listening to podcasts mm-hmm. and stuff about people and when you're who away, come from you... different perspectives of life and different walks of life. And it's like you see stuff in a different perspective. Cause if you stay trapped. In one way, it's thinking. hard to see it, the out the yeah. out perspective when you're away. It's just like you can box. see it, yeah. and I put that in one of my songs. I'm like, bro, I, t- I think I told you. I'm like, bro, when you actually just sitting on the bench watching motherfuckers play, they look stupid, and it's like, damn, I'm really like, well, I was just in that shit before I just separated myself. Like, yeah. and when you get to a point, you just really trying to better yourself, better yourself. And I ain't trying to say like you better than people or you better than the people around you, but when you just really putting in the work to better yourself as far as your beliefs what you what you doing with your body like actually caring about it shit. really matters the small shit but it really matters it's really powerful just yeah. like i said the decisions but it's like when you really start caring about this shit, bro and you just start seeing shit for what it is it's just like bro the way i was telling you about that book i was reading on the art the subtle art and i give a fuck if you ain't read that book shit. why you need to go get I it i feel like i already done read that motherfucker Cause you, <laughs> and that's a thing because like a, it's like you said earlier when you were saying a lot of people just be saying like okay all the information and knowledge been passed on from other people mm-hmm. we all regurgitating stuff from somebody else that we feel like had a higher like a higher level of thinking as far right. as like approaching the way society is and whatnot mm. so it's like and a lot of stuff society, they say bro. already ring true i mean yeah. i would say the afterlife too like it be like i'm a i'm a person that go to the research and find shit too but it's like it gets to a point like i feel like everybody got it's so many perspectives it gets to the point like just like religions who the fuck is really the the true the one you know what I'm so it's like yeah. It just like everybody perspective like you said this about that like you said this about this you said this about this you said this so it's like it's so many perspectives about that one thing just like religion just like every other thing it's like bro at this point it's just like you just got to stop listening to even the fucking pass down knowledge at this point there's <laughs> so much damn shit i mean because like it's like bro this remember i was just going to say about science before we started like basically how science is our knowledge thus far and science can really change, like, cause at one point they thought the Earth was flat until so science came along. Some other scientists came along. Hey, lie, look, it's it's round actually. Exactly. So it's like it's only our knowledge thus far. It always can change. We can get a more accurate interpretation or depiction of what we think is. Like as far as even the moon and the sun and how they rotate the uh, the Earth and like all mm-hmm. of that. It's like exactly. at one point none of that was known. Somebody came along, exactly, they gave a theory, out. and it's like, oh, that makes sense. And somebody then came along and, and, and built upon that theory. But it's like, That's what humanity is, but though. It's like, like a bunch of theories, goddamn it. But it's like, at the what point do we stop? But you get closer just- to. You can't know everything, but that's the thing about humans. Like we want to know everything because we fear the unknown. You got to exactly. understand that. You got to say we. And this it go in with the afterlife shit all the time. Yeah, about. like. We free the unknown, so we will make we will make ideas, ideologies, and stuff to make mm. us feel more comfortable, to, comfortable and stuff. Like I understand, I understand all of it, but I do really truly believe like we ain't just here for no reason. You that leads to my next point, Dan. Since you since you just dropped with that last statement right there, I was gonna ask you. I was gonna actually get into asking you. What the? But the next thing I was gonna leave it to, bro, is. Do you think this world could exist really without humans? Because a lot of people say not the one we built. What you mean by that? I'm talking about like the infrastructure, everything set up is full of them. I ain't talking about the infrastructure. I'm talking about as in the earth. Do you think the earth could uh, exist yeah, without definitely. us? Yeah, definitely. Because it did without us before at one point. So you think so? Yeah, I mean we just came along. We just really trying. And to re- make it. I mean the reason I ask it is because you know how they say everything play a part in, in the world, right? They say everything play a part, like insects play a part. Everything yeah. got their own purpose, right? They say we. We still looking for our purpose. Like we the only species that seem like that's we just because we I feel like that's because if you really break it down, like when you think about animals, they so like they don't have the complex thinking that we have. Yeah, yeah. That's what made everything complex. Once mm-hmm. we had a fucking brain, it was over. You know? Like it's <laughs> exactly. we got like once we can formulate ideas and shit and think of fruits, because you gotta think about it, everything this mic you speaking on, somebody thought about that in mm-hmm. their head before it was really materialized. Yeah. Like don't know other species got the power to do this shit. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So it's like once we got like once we got this, 
It was like that's what made everything. But complex. I mean, even just far as like not even just the mind, the mind state. I'm talking about like far as like the world, as in just like how the plants need the sun. I, yeah. Do you feel like the earth, the world really needs? Nah. us? I mean, we so, came from it. We a product of it, not, so not it this, being a product of us. It's like we just, like we build. Even even when you think about it, like I was just saying, we come from the universe in the sense where the shit that's in the universe, like even the atoms, that's in us mm-hmm. right now. We come from the universe, like you just saying, the plants, like even that the ocean producing oxygen. But I like, get that though. I get we I get we came after that.